Agriculture has been identified as an important industry, not only in addressing food security, but also unemployment in Africa. The continent has 60% of the world's arable land, which provides ample opportunity for the sector to thrive. However, there are still too many barriers to entry, especially for young people. Sumitra Naidu caught up with a young farmer in South Africa who's determined to make it. Guguletu Mshlango fell in love with farming as a child. It was only later on that she decided to take it on formally in university. It started off as pure passion until I got into the industry and I realized the many opportunities that are here. I realized that um, it's something that I can grow into, it's something that I can make a career of, and it's something that I can definitely be successful in. In total, we have 10 tunnels, we have 10 nets, they are all occupied. And these are some of the ladies that work with me as well. Behind me, they're currently reading. And um, further down there is where we are currently doing our land preparation for our green beans and our Hubbard squash and our baby marrow. So we're very excited about that. The struggle that I have is basically transport and um, finding the right markets, finding the right prices for to sell to. And um, currently, you know, with this COVID-19 pandemic, we had produce and like um, no one to sell to. The spinach was frosting because of the winter. We just had so many challenges. So now, slowly but surely, we are picking up and um, I've managed to secure clients from the Joburg markets. This is the irrigation system that um, it's the sprinklers that we use currently. And um, yeah, we also need to look at getting micro jets because uh, we only have one water reservoir. And now that I'm expanding, I also need another reservoir to meet up with the water demands. Um, thankfully on the fields, we are busy with the drip irrigation system. That makes it perfect because it saves the water, the little water that we have. Funding and accessing finance are still big challenges for emerging farmers. I am looking at saving, I'm looking at investing, I'm looking at applying for loans, you know, but obviously as a startup, I need to show good cash projections and financial projections that I'm able to pay. More opportunities are becoming available, but farming remains expensive because it needs resources and is labor intensive. You know, I feel like um, government needs to expose young, younger people to agriculture and make it more um, easier for them to access funding, to access support. Having extra skills has proved beneficial for Mshlangu. If you want to start agriculture and it's your passion, you need to know that it is a business, you know, and you need to be able to capitalize on your skills. Gugu is just 27 years old and she's already been farming for about three or four years. She is really passionate, but funding is a huge challenge, especially in South Africa. The plan is to eventually buy her own piece of land to farm. Because my lease is for five years. So in the next five years, I'm going to actually own my own farm and I'm going to be looking at modern ways of agriculture because I'm young. You know, I've realized that there are faster ways to do this and there's cooler ways to do it like hydroponics and um, it's been interesting, it's been exciting, it's been challenging and it's been a growing learning curve for me. So it's, it's an absolutely exciting journey.